phytochemicals and antioxidants, powerful substances in our food that help fight disease. Now we have every reason to encourage our little ones to eat their fruits and vegetables. Why? Because these fruits and vegetables are loaded with compounds called phytochemicals and antioxidants. These substances possess powerful protective health benefits. Now, what are phytochemicals, you may ask? Well, phytochemicals are simply protective chemicals that are found only in plants. That's where you get the word phyto. Phyto is the Greek word for plant. And so they are not like vitamins and minerals, but they are a separate family of chemicals that are found only in the plant family. And one may wonder, what type of plants? Well, all plants, whether it's fruits, vegetables, grains, beans, seeds, nuts, and even herbs, these food items have thousands and thousands of phytochemicals in them. Yet these food chemicals are not available in any animal product whatsoever. Now that we've looked at what phytochemicals are, what are antioxidants? Well, antioxidants, like phytochemicals, are also natural chemicals found in food, though not only limited to just plant food. These antioxidants are compounds that prevent or repair damage done to cells caused by highly reactive substances called free radicals. And so when you find free radicals in the body, they go about and cause damage, a lot of damage to cells. And antioxidants come in and help our body cells to repair now what are free radicals what are these substances free radicals are chemicals that are byproducts of chemical reactions that take place in our body and cause damage as i've already alluded to now what is the consequence of having excessive levels of free red it has been noted that free radicals increase the rate of cancer increase the likelihood of heart disease premature aging or even cataracts. In fact, they are known to play a role in numerous diseases. That is why antioxidants help us in our health because they help to counteract the free radicals that cause these diseases. Now, certain lifestyle habits such as eating a high fat diet, smoking and drinking alcohol promote more rapid and extensive cell damage. Now, because free radicals cannot be entirely avoided, it is important to strengthen our body's antioxidant defenses. The richest sources of these natural chemical defenders are unrefined plant foods. Whether it's fruit or vegetables, whole grains, beans or nuts, study after study continues to reveal the protective benefits of plant-based foods. Around the world, people are eating less and less of these protective and healthy plant foods and are experiencing more and more degenerative diseases. But if you want to go on the up against the trend, if you want to go against the flow and start eating more and more of these healthy foods, your grains, your whole grains, your nuts, your fruits, your vegetables, foods from the plant kingdom, what benefits would you expect? Well, there are several. Would you be interested if I were to tell you of a single strategy that could help cut your chances of getting ca cancer by 50%? Well, I'm sure you would. Worldwide, it has been shown study after study. In fact, there are more than 200 major scientific studies that have been done over the past 25 years that have consistently shown those who eat largely of plant foods are about half as likely to experience cancer as those who eat few plant foods. Let me put it another way. We would have halved the risk of cancer in the world today if everybody was on a diet that is high in these plant foods. Not only does this kind of diet lower the risk of cancer, it also significantly reduces the risk of heart disease, of adult diabetes, and even of high blood pressure. Indeed, plant foods loaded with phytochemicals and antioxidants do much more than help prevent disease. They also fight it. So. The question is, which fruits and vegetables contain the most powerful disease-fighting properties? Well, the truth is probably all of them. Yet, while some appear to offer greater protection than others, it's probably only because these foods have been studied more than others. Let's take, for example, soybeans. Soybeans have been studied extensively. Studies show that soya foods decrease the risk of many types of cancers, including breast cancer, colon cancer, rectal cancer, lung cancer, and stomach cancer that's amazing stuff 
Not only that, but if we look at whole grains, for example, the phytochemicals found in whole grains, such as wheat, rice, oats, rapoko, millet, sorghum, all of these different uh, whole grains that are found in various forms in different parts of the world, these have been known to reduce the risk of two of the greatest killers worldwide. These phytochemicals found in whole grains help to fight against cancer and cardiovascular diseases. These two are the ones that cause heart attacks and strokes, the greatest killers in this world as we speak. When we look at the whole grains, these protective phytochemicals are concentrated within the bran and the germ. These are parts that are usually removed in the refining process. Refined wheat, for example, contains about 200 to 300 times less of these protective chemicals. It's a sad loss. And so whilst we find a lot of people moving on to more to the refined grains, we should move away from the refined grains, away from the white rice, away from the white bread, away from the uh, white confectionaries, and move on to the unrefined grains, your brown bread, your brown rice, your millet, your, your sorghum, your small grains that are really refined. This will increase our health. Now, most scientists believe that the best strategy for improved health and lowered disease risk is to eat a wide variety of fruits, nuts, grains, and vegetables instead of isolating certain ones. So if you want to have optimum health, don't focus on just one specific food type and major on that because there are many other foods that we can enjoy, that we can eat, and yet, and simply because there are not so many studies that have been done on those particular foods and they have not been publicized, it may appear as if they don't have as much benefits as the ones that have been popularly publicized, such as soybeans. And so it is encouraged, eat a wide variety of foods. Don't just eat your unrefined maize. Get your rapoko, get your millet, get your, your sorghum, get your oats. Instead of just having apple, have your indigenous fruits in whichever country that you live in. Don't just focus on the fruits that are brought to the forefront. Look for a great variety of fruits and find different ways of making them tasty. And so one may say, okay, what if we just go for supplements? Well, before you take that route, we need to consider something. It has been estimated that plant foods like fruits and grains and vegetables have a higher concentration of phytochemicals. There are over 10,000 different types of phytochemicals found in a tomato, as opposed to any particular pill that you might find to try and substitute these phytochemicals. You simply cannot beat what God has done and what God has given us. The best is to eat the fruits and the vegetables in the most natural state as possible, in the greatest variety possible, and you will be able to get these phytochemicals. You cannot equate tablets and capsules and pills to having the food. It is best to have the food in its natural state. Let food be your medicine. In the beginning when the world was perfect and man was in paradise, God advised man on which foods to take. We find this advice and instruction in Genesis 1 verse 29. And God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of the land, and every tree with a seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. If we do this, we will find that our health will improve. Just give it a try and see if your health will not improve. Increase the amount of unrefined plant foods in your diet. Increase your whole grains, include, increase your nuts, increase your legumes, increase, increase your fruits, increase your vegetables, increase the variety of herbs that you put in your salads and things like that and see if your health will not improve. It will be a gradual process but your health will certainly improve. If it's your desire to know how to use these foods in a different way, how to cook them and prepare them in a nutritious manner, please get this book of these, you may freely eat, you may contact us and we will gladly assist you in getting a copy. This is us from Third Angel Media. Um, there are our contact details. Feel free to contact us and please follow us on social media on Facebook and YouTube. We'll continue to post more videos that we pray will be a blessing to you.